<laughs> um, so who are you? I'm Ken Norton, a product manager for Google Docs. Google Docs, yay! And uh, <laughs> we're starting to use Google Docs at Fast Company a lot, and so awesome. do our articles and stuff because it's uh, uh, you know Fast Company's offices are in New York, and Rocky's 20 minutes away from me, so being able to spread perfect stuff for geographically uh, distributed you know, teams. Yeah. The collaboration is really a, a killer app. So, uh, what are you guys? Uh, what, have, what are you guys working on lately? You know? Well, the big thing we've been working on and that we are just launching is uh, offline docs. So the ability to work with Google Docs inside your browser even if you don't have an active internet connection. Oh, um, that's killer. Which has uh, been a highly requested feature. A lot of people have told us, we love Google Docs, but then you go on a plane ride or uh, I have a flaky connection or you know I have to ride the, the bus to work and I wish I could keep working on it even when I don't have an internet connection. So. Yeah, that's a big deal because I'm traveling like I'm in seven airports in the next five weeks. So <laughs> it's a yeah, big deal. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm really excited about this. So how does it how does it work? Can I work on multiple docs at, at, offline? You know, because you know, I, I work on lots of little articles and stuff. Yeah. And I would love to have that stuff stored locally so I could just work on it offline and then resync it. How, tell me how yeah, it works. Yeah, so, so it's, been, it's built with Google Gears. Yeah. Uh, Google Gears is an open source browser extension that uh, offers developers the ability to, to do um, build offline apps. So what Google Gears provides essentially is uh, really three key things. as a local server, yeah. so you can serve up things like static content, uh, images, JavaScript uh, without having an internet connection. Uh, a local database, so a SQL database, full SQL database. Um, and then uh, what we call worker pool, which allows you to run uh, certain JavaScript uh, the activities in the background. So it just overall incre increases the responsiveness of the application. Mm -hmm. um, so it's built with Google Gears, and essentially what you do as a user is you install the, the Gears plugin uh, browser extension. And um, let's cover that. And so uh, you need to download that and load it in your browser. You download it in the extension. And inside of Docs, you'd click on the offline link, uh, which is up in the top right-hand corner. And it that says, would load it automatically. And that'll take you through the setup process. It loads the browser extensions, get you set up, and then when you come back to Google Docs, it will uh, begin syncing. And what we do And is, does that work on Windows and Macs? It does. It works uh, with Firefox uh, 1.5 or better, and then with Internet Explorer uh, 6 or better. Okay. Um, so any, any of the, any of the uh, browsers that support the Google Gears. Uh, and what about Safari on the Macintosh? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Not okay. Yet. And what about Linux support? Uh, mm -hmm. Linux is supported for the, for the Firefox browser. Okay. Yes. Good? Yes. Cool. Uh, and so the, what happens is when you come back to Google Docs, we, uh, we automatically start syncing. So um, it's probably hard to see from, from where you are, but there's a little green icon now up here in the right-hand corner. Yeah. Um, that's telling me that I'm, I'm online. And in the background, Gears and, and Docs are going to synchronize all of, your, all of your documents for offline access. Um, and that happens automatically. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to say, I want this one offline or I want this one offline. It'll automatically sync any changes that have taken place. Right. Um, and then when I go offline, uh, I'm so gonna let's actually, say we're in the plane. We open yeah, I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit, and I'm going to use the Firefox work offline okay. um, rather than have actually disabling my, my internet connection. And when I reload, you can see even though I'm offline, the, the, the site is actually loaded. And now, the and icon's now this icon's gone gray, so that's telling me that I'm, I'm offline. Um, but I can still access my, my documents. Um, and so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually go ahead and open one here. Um, this is a little newsletter I created. And, you can see that it, it looks just like Google Docs. Some of the features are disabled. I can't use some things offline. Like, for example, I can't uh, email the document or share or any of the kind of... Uh, oh, yeah, you can see there. Yeah, any of the functionality that you, you would actually need the server for. Um, but when it comes to editing, I can pretty much do anything I want. I can, I can edit. Uh, you can see here it says, I'm in offline mode, so it's telling me um, wh what to expect. Um, I can make edits. I can... I can uh, you can make any change. It's kind of hard to do diagonally here, but yep. uh, you can see that I, you know, I can type and I can save, and um, it works just like Docs does in, in that saving is kind of happening at all times. It's just rather than saving to the server right now, it's saving to Google Gears in my browser. So, f as far as I'm concerned, as the end user, it, it it works the same as it normally does. It's just the changes aren't going back up to the server. Yeah. Um, now, when I go back online, uh, and that can happen either, you know because I've you know, kind of plugged back into the internet or you know, I, I found a, a wireless connection. Um, when, I, when I reload this document, it'll automatically get synced up to the server um, or when okay. I open my, my now, doc list. Now, that's an interesting point. Um, 
if I work on five different docs then and I've edited five different docs, I have to refresh the pages on all five or is there a way to automatically push all five? You don't have to refresh the pages, but you do have to visit docs. You have to at least visit this page. Okay. So if you go to docs.google.com, you've made changes to 10 documents. They'll automatically get synced. Got it. Um, and actually, it, it happened too quickly for me to show you here, but it'll actually tell me if there are changes offline that haven't been synced. So it'll say edited offline next to those documents. Okay. Um, and then when I, when I come back to docs, .google.com, while I'm online, you'll see them all sync up pretty quickly and that little message will disappear. Um, but certainly if you had any collaborators that were waiting for those changes, they're not going to see them until you go back online and, and sync those changes up. So if you were on a plane for five hours, made a whole bunch of changes, your collaborators won't see those documents until you go back online. And, Very and, cool. And now what, what happens if I'm on a plane and I make a bunch of changes and then Rocky's making changes at the same time on the same documents, but he's online and I'm right. offline and then I come to the airport and I sync up, how does it resolve the uh, d differences? Because maybe he deleted a, a right. paragraph right. and put a new paragraph in, and I deleted the same paragraph, but it put a different paragraph it's, in. How it's challenging. It... We, we try to do our best. So certainly if you added a whole bunch of paragraphs at the end and, and he made some edits to the beginning, we'll try to resolve them. But if, if there are conflicting changes, if you both changed the same paragraph, for example, um, we'll pop up a message and we'll, we'll ask you which one to, to prefer. Um, we're, it's an area where we're trying to, to, to improve that. We'd like to, to, to get smarter about detecting changes that are conflicting versus not conflicting. Um, but certainly we can only do our, our best and we feel it's better to leave it up to the user to decide yeah. which ones to throw out than for us to kind of arbitrarily decide that your edits are better than his or right. um, that his are more important. So. Right. Um, anything else we need to know about the, the new features coming on? Um, so we're, we're in the process of rolling it out. It's, gonna, it's not being rolled out to everybody at once. We're rolling it out over the course of a few weeks. Okay. Um, so users will kind of see it increasingly. Um, they just need to look for the offline link up in the uh, top right hand corner. Okay. Um, today it's full offline editing of your word processing documents. Um, read only for your spreadsheets uh, and then presentations are coming in the next few weeks. Ooh, okay. Very cool. Well, thanks for uh, showing it to me, and uh, good luck on the uh, thanks. shipping on the new features. Thank you very much.